Today, we're gonna to be making quail. Now, it's not a common protein, but it's super delicious and anyone can make it at home. Grilling over fire, it's so innate inside of me. Among families, we have these huge gatherings. It's this big grill, fire, and the smoke, and the sizzling. It was very iconic. There's something very beautiful about cooking over wood fire. It's deeper than monk food to me. It's a legacy. Before we get into the quail itself, we're gonna show you the marinade. We're gonna start with the sauce. Now this sweet soy is a little thicker, as you can tell. It's like a molasses almost. And the next thing is, we're gonna go with some oyster sauce. So to bring in the balance that, we're gonna need vinegar here. And this is the ultimate combo. You got some ginger, we got some garlic, and then we got some chili flakes. Now I just add a little salt in there too. So we're just gonna mix this marinade and we're gonna set it to the side. Now you have this quail, it's small, but it's actually very flavorful. What you have right back here is this spine. You're gonna take your scissor and you cut right through it. And then what I do, bring it down and then just the palm of your hand, lightly push it down and you'll hear a little crack. You want to get the height of the breast meat and the leg meat to be the same. So it takes the same amount of time to grill it. Okay, so we have all our quails here. So the next thing we do is we're gonna marinate it. You want all that marinade to reach to all the spots. So take that first one, just kind of layer them up. I love this flavor of chilies and ginger and garlic. With this marinade, you can do it for three or four hours to get it all in there, but I would recommend overnight. Let's look at our quail here. You could tell that it's a deeper, richer, almost like a, a darker color because we let this thing marinate overnight. And so what you're gonna do with your skewer is you can go through the leg, and then as you go through the leg, the thigh part, you're gonna drive it right up straight, and you can go right through the breast part. So there we are, we got all this, and then our grill is hot and ready, and then we're gonna get going, and we're gonna put it on the grill. Cooking over fire, it's all about patience, right? It's all about letting the wood burn down to this, this ember, and you're cooking off that ember. Now what you wanna do is you're gonna take your coals and you're gonna bring it all the way to the front because we're gonna create levels here with our coals. We don't wanna put the quail on all the way in because what's gonna happen is you're gonna burn your skewers off. We're gonna put our quail, let's get inside down. You hear that sound? Perfect. You wanna always check on them. So you look at this guy, we've had it on there for 30 seconds. It's starting to go already. It's starting to do that caramelization. The thing with quail, as quail is um, tender meat, it doesn't have a lot of fat in it. You gotta be very careful. When you're cooking with wood fire, you're always moving. It's very important that you control the fire. So what I usually do is I have a long tong, and what I do with that tong is I move my coals around. So I'm gonna look here, see where I need to adjust, move it around. When it comes to cooking, and especially with grilling, we're using all our senses. I can hear the sizzling, so when I hear that, I know that I need to check. So I'm gonna check my quail. Yep, I'm gonna flip it. Look at that, caramelization, that color. This looks delicious, okay? What you wanna do is remember that marinade you had? You're gonna take that marinade and you're just gonna glaze it. As that marinade hits the coals, it creates this beautiful smoke that comes up. Notice how the whole cooking process that we've done here, there's been no flame ups. It's all about cooking off that ember. If the flame is actually touching the protein, you're actually just burning it. So to know that your quail is done, it's the feeling. When you feel that skewer kind of tighten up, you know that the inside, uh, it's ready to go. I'll be very honest, I've just done this so long that you kind of know the color, you know what you're, you know, the smell, you know the feel, but if you feel like that you really need to know a timing, get to your thickest part, throw the meat thermometer right in there and you get that 160, 165, and you're good to go. So if you would go onto the streets of, uh, you know, Thailand, Vietnam, and Laos, you would see these vendors that would have these like little grills and they would just grill all these little quail on the side of the road. You know, it is as common as like 
you know, a corn dog here in America. When you go over there, it's quail on a stick. Our quail is done. I mean, if we look at this color, it's just dark mahogany color. It's kind of sticky. We're just gonna bring it all off. You can take the skewer, pull it apart, pull the skewer off, cut right down. Awesome, look at that. Grab a little bit of tiger bite. Mm. That tiger bite sauce totally makes it. I always tell people, if you wanna know our food, you have to know our people. And by knowing our people, you know our food. Because our cultural DNA is intricately woven into the foods that we eat. And that's actually what I really love about Hmong food. This is very delicious, really simple, something you can do at home.